let's rank the X-Men movies. This might be a two-parter, but we'll see how it goes. So, number 13 is New Mutants. This movie's, I think, greatest sin is honestly that it's boring. Um, a positive, I guess I'll give it, is that it kind of has a nice relationship between Danny and Wolfsbane, but it's just boring, and I think that's the biggest sin that a movie can commit is just being boring. So yeah, there you go. Um, not recommended. X-Men Days of Future Past, which is number 12, is just bad. Like, it's it's competently made somewhat. You can kind of tell that the, that the actors and everyone involved still cares. But this just, it focuses on too much of the wrong thing. It's trying to be a Cure movie and a Dark Phoenix movie, when really it should have been maybe a two-parter, where one movie gets, one plot line gets its own movie, and the other plot line gets its own movie. Plain and simple. And... Um, positive is, it's competently made. There you go. Uh, number 11 is uh, X-Men Apocalypse. This movie is slightly better than Last Stand, simply because the acting is better, honestly. Um, mainly from McAvoy and, um, McAvoy and Fassbender. Those guys... <laughs> I think do an exceptional job throughout their tenure as Professor X Magneto. But yeah, they're probably the best things about their films, honestly. Uh, the worst thing is um, it's t too many characters, too long, and it's just way too rushed. Um, number 10 is Dark Phoenix. I've had the best viewing of this movie today that I've probably ever had. Um, I think Sophie Turner is a real standout. And you can tell that she at least kind of cared about how this movie would be. And yeah, that's commendable, Sophie Turner. That's commendable. Um, the worst thing is I think Simon Kimber got screwed over. Like Jennifer Lawrence wanted him to direct the last movie. And, he's, and he finally was like, okay, I'll direct one of these. And he obviously kind of just couldn't handle the pressure of it. And I just genuinely feel bad for him. Uh... Number nine is X-Men Origins Wolverine. So X-Men Origins Wolverine, um, the one positive I'll give it is that it, I, it, is managed to, it manages to keep continuity with the previous films, which is kind of nice, um, with one simple note, notable thing. Um, it allows Wolverine to choose to become Weapon X. And the worst thing is honestly the pacing. This movie is this paced terribly. And yeah, Deadpool also kind of sucks. And this movie probably should have had a few more rewrites before rushing into production. Uh, that's a common theme. Uh, number eight is X-Men, the original X-Men. This movie is just too low stakes, brah. It's too low stakes. And I think that's unfortunate. But... A positive I will give it is that it has a great tone, and if I think it maybe tried to be a bit more of a science fiction soap opera instead of a science fiction drama, it would have been better, and I think this franchise would be more X Men Philly. Um, number seven is the one, the only X2. This movie, I think its biggest sin is that it literally has Kelly Wu and wastes Kelly Wu. They literally turn her into an MCU villain. And I like the MCU, but its villains are literally just copy-paste the hero. And that's what this movie does with Lady Deathstrike. It sucks. And a positive I'll give it is that the relationship between Stryker, Professor X, and Magneto are actually kind of cool. Like, Professor X, like, that's an interesting sort of dichotomy between the, those three characters to where... Um, uh, where, like, Stryker wants to control mutants and sees them as purely weapons. While Magneto sees m mutants as the superior beings, and while he did suffer under the hand of fascists, he becomes a fascist because he hates them so much. And it's very interesting. Of course, we do see that in the real world. And Stryker is, of course, a 
Bible thumper in the comics, and now he's just a dude who uses people for his own personal gain, and they just happen to have superpowers. Um, and yeah, super neat. So next time, we'll talk about six through one. Remember that guy made you special, and I hope to see you next time. God bless.